calculate this is a model that travel sorry yeah so uh, atmb by default oh oh and log file is 8 mb previously it is 3 to 1 3 is to 1 basically in 2005 2000 to 2000 servers we had there's a 3 is to 1 3 mb data file 1 mb is log file but now this is uh, data is very uh, different nowadays that we are using for a uh, videos uh, other database type data type so this is uh, microsoft changes their settings from 16 yeah 16 8 mb and 8 mb okay but from the database side, we have to think about uh, that what data we are going to keep in that uh, tables and uh, uh, writing data from the application. According to that, we have to customize here. Okay. So uh, from SharePoint, SharePoint uh, recommend that minimum data file size should be 100 MB minimum. Okay. And log file 50 MB because in SharePoint, we are uploading PDF file, Excel file, and other things. So that will require. Uh, much uh, space because if you assign load uh, uh, means we can say less uh, amount of size here it will asking every time uh, or claiming every time to the os for new space basically so this is a, a performance degradation from the database side so due to the uh, data we have to just think on that and we can assign some more space as uh, we are keeping the data basically okay so this is by default and uh, so now your data was create according to this setting only okay whatever the settings we are keeping here na, new data can take uh, the copy or we can say that the replica setting or we can say that carbon of this and implement on new databases so you can see here the data file 8 mb now we are going to create here new database and you can see the difference okay create new database or you can use via command also so there is a demo simple we can write see 8 mb data file or 8 mb log file i'm just cancelling here and just modifying model databases for a demo purpose i am just i am thinking about we are going to use uh, sharepoint application i am using 200 mb of data file and 50 mb of log file and save it done now i'm going to create new your databases see here. so this is a model databases this is just a template only okay whatever the settings we can uh, get here we will default default for the new databases on the your databases we can get all the feature facilities and features whatever <laughs> configured or implemented next is msdb so msdb is just a, a database which is for uh, we can say that monitoring or automations basically so this is uh, use all the transaction done on agent side so whatever the job created here all the data we can get here in that msdb all the records we can do a troubleshooting we can check all the settings let's see Log, if you implement log shipping, if you implement backup, we can get data inside these tables. Okay, all the HADR also here. See the HADR, something like that. We can get here HADR also. So every files we can get here. Okay, so if MSDB is only for automations, and we can say that jobs. If we delete these databases, there's no impact on main database engine not on user databases only is that we are not going to schedule any job we cannot doing going to do any automating uh, automated task from here if this is corrupted this is not impacting our whole database instance okay temporary temporary uh, temporary this is for temporary works temporary files temporary tables like local and variable uh, local and global tables there are two tables in sql server local and global okay so that table uh, created here and using using the sessions and the global sessions we can say that connections so these are the four uh, system db but hidden databases resource db and one is distribution databases that is created at a time of replication so when we implement replication 
we get the four, uh, fifth databases that show here under this system databases distribution databases. So according to situation, we can say that there are six databases, uh, system databases in SQL Server, that is resource DB, uh, master DB, model DB, temp DB, and uh, MSDB, and that distribution databases totally six databases that is a system databases we can say that but there is a condition if we implemented replication we get distribution databases else we have a five any question mm, no no it's fine okay so we have check protocols yeah, see, this is a pro pre old snapshot. So why is also a protocol in SQL Server that is deprecated now? Okay, in new versions. So TCP IP done, master model user, yeah, done. Yeah, this is different. Okay, now TMDB is also done. Okay, so we have to check the stats. How can we check the stats database? Uh, so can you can elaborate a little more on uh, temp db yeah temp db temp db is just up for our temporary work means let's an example we have written one report okay that is we can say that salary okay the salary report so in that we are calculating day uh, day wise salary okay and our hourly wise salary so we are just calculating all these things means day one to day 30 so there's a calculation count attendance so that count function called and that will task perform in temp db only so, so you mean to say table. it is not a user table uh, database internally calls temp db and utilizes that for sorting yes. and all those purposes yes 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 okay got it so if you are if you are calculating more you are using means like you are using group by order by any windows function that all goes on uh, temporary temp db that all activity perform on temp db so my uh, the in the performance tuning part temp db sometimes uh, impacting very slow due to that uh, uh, data write huge data in temporary files okay one scenario that in a different company i just uh, i see that uh, about temporary files there is a russian dating site okay so they are using Azure and there is they are using shared uh, software as a service. So in software as a service, they are tempdb is shared tempdb. Okay. So when they are uh, clicking on a date, date uh, uh, means appointment basically, they are get, they, that is getting time. Means which is which user is free, which is not free for dating. Nah? That is taking time. So we discuss with Microsoft and take that task that uh, ask that why it is taking time. And why tempdb is not uh, uh, dedicated with this system? So he told me that this is a shared server and tempdb used by many uh, shared databases. Okay, so you have to just customize your code. You have to just use variable table or in memory. Uh, we can say that in memory table, uh, and you can use that one. So that's not a best practice basically, but uh, yeah, sorting the by default is goes on tempdb. So it will create local table or global table. There are two type of uh, temporary tables. So one is a start for single hash, or this is a local uh, temporary table or global double hash. You can see in uh, any so single hash means local table. Sorry, local table. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh oh, oh, yeah, what am I writing? Table and double hash means global table temporary table basically so it is used uh, for a session only till connection cut destroy this is duplicated okay but in, in this we get a structure only data is destroyed but a structure is remain same that is global temporary tables means anyone using a report and using this means this is exist after execution also but this is destroyed or deleted after the disconnection okay so we can see in temp db here 
if you create that one okay the two tab is still we don't have anything but we can create temporary table and you can check that one okay in that uh, TLS part we can just practice that one a little bit this temp, so here this temp, the temp space here in the temp db mm -hmm. is used by all the other user databases i mean or yes. when we are creating yes. a new database we are not allocating any other temp space no no we are not this is a so these four databases for all the databases that is created on this system these are the shared resources he is managing all the instance level activities which user is performing what task and transactions master is man managing and monitoring all the transactions model is just template ms db is for automations and jobs or template temp db is for any temporary activity performed by end user on this system means we have a multiple databases inside this system let's see we have a uh, let's see uh, one day we created demo okay i'm creating by default okay click that one okay this is a database this is a user databases okay we have multiple uh, demo databases inside that okay so on demo one demo two and demo three someone is doing sorting someone's getting temporary tables someone temporary global tables so all tables come here in temporary for the a, a whatever the user is doing temporary activities it is getting inside the system baby here we can see here that this is totally a shared temporary location for temporary activities for any end user in sort here we can say that in any query we are using let's see we are not using any temporary tables if, uh, forget that things not a global not a at uh, the local tables but if any end user doing any sorting doing uh, using any function doing any uh, 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 we can say clause group by or anything that will use temporary db so we have just keep this according to our utilization of the uh, temporary database. We can keep 50, 25 like that minimum. So 50 is enough, basically 50 GB. But if we, if we are taking yearly reports, see if you go with the net banking of the SDFC, you can get monthly report. In monthly report, you can get 30 rows only. These are restrictions. If you go for five years, you have to go on different tab and then it will take time and you can send from the back end because it's time consuming or it's utilizing temp db behind that. I think uh, so the I question can... was that can we dynamically increase or decrease temp db based on customization to increase the yes. performance? Yes, we can move anywhere. This is a temporary. We can just it is it will create at every restart okay this is a name this is this as name this is temporary this is not a fix if you restart this it will blank every restart tame db destroyed i create a new one so you can see that the date time creation we can so i'm just uh, showing this one there's an example for tame db so this is a command so this is online database. I can see here. Oops, let me see the database date. Select uh, start from sys dot sys databases. Okay. Simple. See the create date. What is this? This is. I think different time zone. I think 9 p.m. Okay. This is 8.32, okay. Means of before an hour. Now I'm going to restart this. From here, we can restart from that uh, here also, okay. So I'm just I'm restarting from here because I'm an admin. So I'm restarting from here. It will clean all the sessions, connections, and then it will restart. Okay. Now it's done. Okay. Let me refresh this page. Okay. And focus on this number two ID. Okay.
see the time. 9.55. Previously it was 8.32, I think. Means it is a temporary. After every restart, temporary database will clean up. And when the session is created, it will writing data into TempDB till restart. Before restart, sorry. We can move anywhere in the server. Okay, as per our convenient. We can write a query, alter databases, and we can map that data file on different drive as per our convenient. Means this is movable. We can move this uh, database files anywhere in the system, but not master. It is fixed. We cannot modify after installation. Only a special cases when server is crashed. So that is a different part. That is when we are going to build the instance. So we have to keep the database in single user mode from the startup parameters, and then we can do that. So what is the starter, starter parameters? We can see from here, the startup parameters. Database servers, this is the best practices. The startup parameters we can see here, startup parameters, see. So here, oh, oh, we cannot uh, enlarge it, see. In the startup parameters, we have a D, I, E, okay, D for data, or I L for log and E for error log. So three things parameter we have enabled here. We are capturing three things at a time. Okay, we can modif cannot modify these three things. Okay, this is uh, static. We can add here some trash files for temp DB. That is one 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 triple one eight triple one seven. That is uh, uh, for tracking that temp DB performance and all. Okay. So this is a part of uh, pro uh, performance tuning that is trash need to be enabled. Which trust is required? We can pass here and we can add here. For always on, we can enable from here. See the always on availability group. So this is a server properties. So we are changing from server side. We cannot change from here. We are not going to change from the config file basically. Okay. Here we cannot get always on. So there are different different tab or different uh, we can windows for enabling features on SQL Server. So here we are not getting HADR or HA uh, features here to enable. Okay, we can go with this this window. We have to enable uh, go to properties and then we have to enable that always on or file stream enable from here. Okay, this. This is for Windows clustering. If you are going for clustering, we can we have to pass that window cluster name here, then it will enable. So I am uh, saying about that parameters, okay? And uh, yeah, parameters and trash files. You can write the keywords. Basically, we can discuss in performance tuning part trash files and uh, that is uh, yeah, tempdb uh, where we can move that tempdb, okay? We will cover in different uh, separate uh, class, okay? And uh, about this databases, okay? So I think it is clear to you all about the databases, okay? TempDB is only for temporary activities performed by the end user. Nothing else. So let's okay. if let's say by mistake I go to the master and drop the database. What will happen? Not 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 possible. Not possible. I mean, I can't drop it. Yes. Can you show that? You can try. Go to the it, yeah. It will ask multiple times. You see, there is no option for deleting. See. But go on the, the data go on you can any other data. Okay. Now go on the model or MSD. I mean also. The model is, no. System databases we cannot modify. This is totally hard. Okay. But it will crash. Crash in the sense it will uh, stop working. So we have to just rebuild that databases. Uh, basically, with the command, we have a five, six command for uh, keeping that database up and running. Okay. That is the maintenance part. We can see in the maintenance part, basically, there's a command. Okay. And uh, we can see, uh, I can show you all these things. Okay. okay. Basically, so you mean crash. To say, okay. You mean to say that if master databases crashed, or corrupted, mm -hmm. so we can uh, reconfigure it using in maintenance mode. Yes. Okay. There's a possibility. We have a just we have to go to this. This is a step. I can just simple show you. 
go to this step startup and we have to just change the startup parameter here just we have to pass m my dash m okay dash m is minimum configuration system will start with the minimum configuration in that we will get only master databases and temp db except nothing is appear at that point of time and then we can repair that master database and then after that restart system will start working 99 percent if data if the drive is not corrupted a drive you mean uh the a storage uh, Achha, storage drive. so even storage we can not map it on a new uh, storage drive if that no. is corrupted no not possible that is different see there's no modification to see here we cannot modify this one or remove that one this is a data file for master only see here master databases okay so we can we can change the startup parameters that is minus m that is for minimum configuration mode of sql server start with that minimum data means only loading system databases master and temp db and then you can fire your command for repairing and then it will start working after the start 99 percent one percent is that only for if a story is corrupted we are not able to read that mdf file this this file mdf is master data file ldf means log data file or there is a one other file name is ndf that is secondary data file so that is a part of database partitioning when we create ndf files when we are splitting uh, data into multiple uh, files it is ndf file so this is a part of partitioning table partitioning index partitioning whatever you call that is a, a different one so i can show you the, how can we add ndf files mm. okay the latter one that's a part of performance tuning basically okay okay so here if you mean to say that uh, if uh, master is deleted or corrupted that is a logical corruption not a physical yes. data file corruption okay yes yes a logical okay corruption. so okay. files are still there only we need yeah. to reconfigure this in maintenance mode master yeah, yes we can check that see if uh, i can show you demo when uh, how can we uh, corrupt this database and how can you rebuild this database says basically and here might be we don't have option to drop but if i go to c drive the location where data files are there i'll go and delete the data file from there that is possible right? yeah you can delete that so then the system is not getting up that point of time there's no option then we can repair then we will, that we, then we will not be able to uh, reconfigure master yes. because how can you repair physical uh, physical yes. corruption how can you, yes how can you repair that we need a file to repair that one see uh, i can show you that we have created this file let's i can show you uh, just not i'm going to dig deep but i can show you how can we uh, do that okay for in demo i can show you all these things uh it is data file no? okay so go to the drive c drive c drive program files that is sql server data was not going to data and going to log basically and we no sorry and we have a uh, demo db a demo log file i can show you how can we check that one so just we can use this one open with notepad in demo i can show you uh, how can you corrupt and we can use database uh, oh, oh, oh no not permission i have to ask that uh, so want to give my permission to explore this i have a permission how we have to not so basically we can open a log file since scenario based basically i show you as uh, tell this something like that we can go and uh, modify the log file this is not committed yet because uh, we have a wider that one okay so we can just i just change the log file now this will go in suspect mode or emergency mode okay or this is uh, yeah suspect mode or emergency mode then we can just repair that one like that msdb sometimes go in suspect mode or uh, corrupted mode basically if we don't have any uh, space in that uh, uh, mount point or we can drive or any uh, by the by the end user mistake they are writing data in the master db okay 
some uh, maintenance plan or something like they are the fetching some report and keeping data in uh, in that uh, master db so that point of time uh, we have to just uh, uh, that part scenario we can just uh, repair that databases if the physical ms mdf file is deleted from that local system we can't do that one but uh, if it is running now we cannot do if this is services down then we can do all these things let's an example uh, let's see. I don't have permission basically this point of time, but I can show that uh, if you the service is running, okay, and I want to copy or delete this file, okay. Let's see. I'm just doing this MDF file, okay. I'm just cutting and paste and different location. See. This type of error we can get. When I can service stop the services, we can get the data here. Okay, let's see the example. Uh, I can stopping this. And then we can try that. This is a part of troubleshooting and maintenance. I can show multiple demo on that. Okay, services stop. Okay, try now. So like that we cannot move master databases if service is on or any databases now we can see that uh, uh, after this start we can get error for these databases see recovery pending means log file is there I think your master DB master data file is moved from there. Okay. See, we have moved that master DB. So this type of error we can get recovery pending, uh, suspected emergency mode. Okay, we can see that uh, all this in uh, a different PPT. I think I have written all these things. What are the mode and SQL server of databases? Okay. Now we have to just repair this one. Okay. We cannot get the properties here. See. We cannot do don't do it uh, from that GUI side. We just use the command line only. Okay, so command line is that we just alter databases, modify or add files, and then we have to just map this path. Okay, so path is that we can just demo. We just select that one and we will pass this path. Then we can then the data engine search this path and copy this one and then start the databases. Okay, so this is a part of troubleshooting and maintenance. We will see multiple demo like that. Okay, I'm not going to show you that here this time. Okay, can we uh, look into mm -hmm. the physical structure of the database now? What all files are where located? Yes. Or log files, right? No? Okay, so files we have to check that. So I can show you from that uh, first command line. Okay, select start from sys dot sys files sys data files databases data files I think data files are also sys files so it is showing about the master databases okay this is a location of master data file and log file okay now next command is also we have a select uh oh start from sys dot sys databases uh, databases i think it's, uh, it will also provide us the details like all the databases master files only okay not log files ta -ta -ta -ta. see here okay master temp db model or ms db or one more thing the data database id master data is one always is one temp db is two three and four and user databases after that five six seven eight nine ten so till one two four is system databases five to uh more than that that is user databases id default if you are connecting join many making is join on the databases you can just pass database id to make a join that is a different one and uh, this is a command line if you want to see that from the mm, here we can see that uh, the, 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 the database settings 
is a default location. So the default location means whenever you're creating by default any databases, you get data file on this location, log file on this location, and you're doing backup by default, you can get backup file this location. So this is a physical location of data file, log file, and backup file. So uh, is there, what is the command to find the uh, data file location for user databases? Yeah, you have to just pass this one. Basically, you just pass the database ID. We can get that one. Achha, we are we not getting pass. because demo is uh, problematic now. Okay, fine. Yeah. Okay. So you can just pass the, where the database ID is 5, 6, 7, whatever with the user database name. You can get that. Or by default, this is the for whole databases. Okay, whatever the created here, na? you can get name, database ID, mode, stats, case and date, whatever. Okay. And if you want to see, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, let me show you another example of data files. That is, uh, I'm going to create a new databases, okay. But we need a, a NDF file, okay. It is secondary data files. So SQL Server has two by default files. That is master data file, that is MDF. Log data file, that is LDF. And secondary data file is NDF. Okay, so I'm showing you here data file. Okay, and now this I can show you here that. Uh, okay, see this is for data file, 200 log file, 50 MB. And now I'm going to add secondary data file. You can see that here, secondary data file, see. Okay, this is only a primary file group. We can change multiple file group. You can get new file group. This is a part of, uh, we can see in, uh, that is performance tuning date table partitioning okay so how can you create multiple file groups and multiple uh, secondary data file so we are saying that secondary or s data file data files okay so see it is taken 2 mb 200 mb 200 mb by default from the model for data file we set 200 mb so it is, it is also, this is also a data file basically that is known as ndf okay I'm just keeping a default, not, not changing anything. Click OK. And now I can show you here the data file as a NDF. MDF, look, let's see. Uh, I can see where, or we can use that, uh, this file, uh, database, and then file. So here is about the user database. Now, here you can see that first is MDF, second is LDF log file, and third one is NDF. See here, I think it is visible to you. I think so. Or we can copy this one and show you. How can I zoom here? Basically, it is visible to you, or I can do yeah, it's, it's visible in the name it's also visible. says is data file. Yeah, so so we can create multiple NDF file as per our stories, but we cannot create multiple MDF file. So this if we have if we have mm -hmm. uh, let's say one terabyte database, so in that case, mm -hmm. in a normal data file scenario, we'll have a one terabyte MDF file. Yes, right. A single file. We cannot split yeah. that uh, by any yeah. means. No, we can split. It's a part of performance tuning. We have to just create a table partitioning and we can choose the use space occupied by a table. We can split that table into multiple files and then we get the uh, a smaller size of data MDB, sorry, master database files. Okay, because it is you are saying as a, as a scenario, it is one TV. Okay, let's an example. It is one TV. Okay, now we have a one table. It uh, it is uh, about we can say that 750 GB. Let's an example. Okay, this is our uh, uh, small tables. Okay, so we are focusing on the part of performance tuning part. Ki we are writing single uh, data in a single table. So we have to split that for the performance for read. So we are decided that we are going for table partitioning. And 
we are using that on uh, date date on basis of date that is financial year we can say that so let's see there is a data since 2005 okay this example they have, have data 2005 and now it is 2000 2024 so 19 years of data okay there is a difference okay so now we have decided as a DBA that we are going to keep based on date on financial year ending. OK, so we have to create that is 19 NDF files at least. For current uh, scenario, OK, 19 NDF file NDF file and we can splitting this on every yearly and moving into the 90, 19 NDF file. Uh, maybe the data will be 500 MB or less than that depend on the data uh, written or disk uh, in that fin financial year. OK. So uh, we can move that and this. Uh, we can say that this uh, uh, 700 GB divided into may, uh, we can say that uh, 25. Sorry. Uh, in 25 NDF files. Because we are focusing on next five, four years. OK, till 2019. OK, sorry. 2019. So we have a 25 file that will divide it, this one by 19 means we can say that uh, about uh, depend on that their uh, exact size basically how much data in that financial year maybe 500 MB maybe uh, more than that and after splitting this we have to perform one more activity that is rebuild index that will Take the unused space and compressing the databases basically, or we can say that serializing databases according to their space move from here to here, means from MDF to NDF. So maybe uh, the MDF file for uh, year 2005 about 1 GB, maybe. So this 72 G 7500 sorry 75 GB reduced to 1 M 1 GB. I think uh, you got my point. Or we can see the demo. Uh, I think uh, that is very helpful uh, to explain basically. Yeah, Mono. Yeah, that's it. Once we come yeah. to that chapter, I think that, oh, that chapter. Then yeah, we'll yeah. See this. <laughs> Basically, Better. this is a part of Indeed. performance tuning when data is established and we are getting error timeout, uh, memory timeout, or we can say that uh, connection timeout, or we are not able to read that uh, table properly. Then we uh, decide to move this uh, data into split the data into multiple data files that is known as NDA file simply. Okay. Now, uh, if we come to log file, uh, same. Is with log file as well, no? Or we yeah, can we split can log file. No, we cannot split, but we can create multiple log files for uh, when we are modifying multiple uh, many data in the buffer, basically. Or it is not uh, written to this frequent, very frequently. So we can create that, but is it not necessary? Previously, can you uh, elaborate people are that? doing means that uh, means like uh, uh, let's say an example. Uh, that's uh, we are creating a dashboard. OK. And in dashboard, we have five or six reports. OK, in six report, we are doing all the changes in a table based on requirement or parameters. So all this done in the log file. Before it is creating a file or sending a PPT to the end user till time it is written to disk. Sorry, written to temporary uh, log file. And after this transition com completed, uh, database engine can write data into the MDF file. It is a part of our transaction. We can say that uh, query processing. So when the end user completed their task and checkpoint is fire, it is writing data into the MDF file. Before that, we all get data into the ND LDF file. So that the huge log reside in that LDF file. That is modified data that is not written to disk. So all the unmodified data reside into that. Sorry, modified data reside into that uh, log file only. Till uh, commit or till uh, we can say that uh, try, uh, 
uh, recovery in the sense we can say that uh, checkpoint fire so basically checkpoint fire be, uh, within a minute every within a minute okay but uh, means that is transition not completed till five to six minutes that is writing a daily log or less an example of bulk insert operation simple example of bulk insert we are inserting millions of record in a table or deleting millions of record from the tables so that is all the logs in the log file so in that cases we will get an error if the log file drive has less space the transaction aborted basically because data is not able to write log file that point of time and your bulk insert or delete operation aborted there's two scenario for implementing log file or the error uh, we get just a minute so i think you got my point for the log file when log file and increase in no uh, yeah in normal scenario in a normal mm -hmm. database uh, mm -hmm. so if we keep uh, what is the standard size of log file that is previously it is three three is to one one mb okay now it is is eight 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 is to eight okay eight let's MB take it uh, uh, let's mm -hmm. take it random uh, four gb data file huh? let's take it so mm -hmm. what's the four gb is fill so how will it flush the entire data and uh, start writing from beginning again for the log file for the log file yeah how does so that work see, if you are you are saying that 4gb okay means yeah like sorry uh, whatever the size is and i'm not talking oh, about yeah. the size yeah the uh, the so, uh, architecture how it writes yes so basically uh, or you or you are going to take uh, the session for the entire architecture yes yes all these things we, <laughs> we will cover then, but then leave it, huh? that, 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 that is fine, fine. part of performance tuning error and performance tuning we can i will show you here basically uh, when we go in that uh, maintenance maintenance part plus pto okay i will cover each and everything there are okay. two topics and, uh, uh, yeah, what about the uh, 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 kernel internal like architecture, no? architecture of all these uh -huh. yeah we will cover here but Are you yeah ha huh, yeah yeah okay. yeah basically basically we will uh, this is so let's an example we have a system okay now we are starting writing data okay so we'll make a connection between server to application so how connection landing on a sql server that is sni sql server network interface so from till to commit a data i will show you uh, on a graph basically this is in inside ppt basically i always uh, keep in the end i think so end not but yeah query processing i think this topic is query processing in that i will cover how the query work and we can do maintenance and all to, 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 to query processing no yeah sorry Set is no. I have a PPT. I have created. This is the part of training. Basically, this is the best best part because this is a part of performance tuning. So we'll take that in the end. I think for basic tuning key, key property. Yeah, see here. So this is a diagram of SQL Server. Basically, okay. I think I will this visible. This is the SNI. This is our instance. Basically, okay. Where data is residing. So okay. application landing here, and then the processing is start going this way. TDS, table of data streaming that is developed by that uh, Cybase basically. This is not a part of Microsoft right now uh, after uh, 1989, but this TDS is de developed by that uh, IBM, uh, sorry, uh, Cybase. Okay, and this is a language event, query tree, command parser, plan, executor. So we will discuss every component inside this. SQL Server architecture. How the query is going to flow. This is a part of performance tuning. How query is flowing and where we have to tune. If we are not getting plan in that plan case, they are not buffer case. So where we have to troubleshoot. So I'm keeping always in the end because we have 
yeah, familiar with all the environment of the SQL Server. So this is a part of query processing. We can see all these things. Okay. Can we uh, have this uh, in brief? Now brief itself. in the sense, yeah. Brief in the yeah, sense. We'll take detailed uh, at the end, but just yeah. in short. Yes, in short, every transaction landing on SNI, that is SQL Server interface, then it is converted into TV, TDS. Whatever transaction you are sending from application, that is uh, retained into the uh, SQL language TDS uh, format, okay, uh, that is TDS format, and then database engine the protocol, you know, TCP, IP, whatever we have configured, landing here. And then this is language check, and then a syntax check, that is command parser. Then after that, optimizer cre uh, create a multiple plan for that query, maximum 10 plans. Every transaction has a uh, plan, that's an optimal plan. And then executor choose that plan and then read or write a data from that uh, databases. But SQL Server Engine do not go every time on the disk. Basically, it will check in the buffer manager first. Okay, this is a buffer manager. Buffer manager has three parts: it is plan cache, data cache, and buffer pool. So I'm sorry, here, sorry, no, no. I need to take ten minutes break. Ten to twelve minutes. So yeah. So let I, I can let's let, take ten mm -hmm. minutes break then. Let's be back. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Because so this is important. Let's two, all of us. Yeah. 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 Sure. Sure. Eleven yeah, forty yeah, sure, will sure. start. Yeah, eleven forty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yes, yeah, sure. 